after Japanese karate star Shihan Joko Ninomiya won the All Japan Tournament in 1978. He came to Denver and started a full contact competition in a high school gymnasium. Built on technique, power, tradition, and spirit, the Sabaki Challenge has become America's premier karate tournament. Sabaki features top fighters in all styles from around the globe. Single elimination in three weight divisions. Denver, Colorado. The 1996 Sabaki Challenge. This year's tournament includes four returning champions. Hideto Otsu was the first fighter to win Sabaki championships in two weight divisions. He was the 93 lightweight champion. In 94, he won the middleweight title. At age 29, his spirit remains indomitable. We're ready to go here. Quarterfinals, middleweights. Hideto Otsu, a two-time Sabaki champion in the red sash. On the right of the screen, 5'9", 162 and a half pounds, 29 years of age. Chicago, originally from Kagawa, Japan. Joey Cunningham, locally from Boulder, Colorado, 19 years of age, six foot, 171 pounds. Cunningham impressive in a prelim in his first Sabaki challenge against a master. And there is Otsu. Kicks to the body, punches to the kicks, low kicks and punches to the body. And Cunningham aggressive going at him. And Cunningham is showing no fear of the champion. Low attack from Otsu. You don't ever see him go upstairs much. Maybe he's setting something up though. He's got a long way to go to reach the head of Joey Cunningham. Today to Otsu, the only, the first man in the history of the sport to win Sabaki Challenge in two different weight classes, going from lightweight to middleweight. Very good exchange, Michael. Lots of punches in there and low kicks, but he buckled Cunningham a little bit with that right hook to the ribs, and now a left hook underneath the ribs by Otsu. Very strong. The action is fast and furious here. Both fighters are very game. And Cunningham punching hard with the left now, but Cunningham a little bit more cautious than he came out. If you look at even the expression on his face has changed after tasting the body shots of Otsu. That's correct, he is kind of backing up a little bit more. He's not staying in the pocket or in his range. That time, smartly trying to use his reach by bringing the right leg up against Otsu. These two have got to be getting tired with the fast and furious pace that they're fighting, Michael. Look Don't at believe going. that you're right, that Cunningham can keep this pace very long as he stands directly in front of Otsu and doesn't play the angle. He's trying to rock inside, uh, inside low kick. It's not effective at all on the champion Otsu. 10 seconds to fight. No score. We'll have a two minute overtime if he continues this way. Hard fought action, war of attrition on the mat inside the circle. A very good exchange from both fighters, Michael. Two minute overtime period and it's fight in the red sash. Hideto Otsu, two time champion of the Zabaki Challenge, lost his middleweight title last year. The Peyton Wolf looking to get it back says this may be his last chance at it. His last fight, he said, I have to ask my body when I'm done. And indeed you do. When you fight year after year, you do have to ask yourself, do you want to do it? And now Cunningham very busy with knees and legs and Otsu throws him over his thigh, but uh, does not keep his legs himself, Otsu, no point. No point, you have to stay on your feet if you take the person down. No point. Cunningham, eight years in martial arts at 19 years of age in four different styles, and now Cunningham warned for indirect face contact, not a full face punch or would've been a penalty. Otsu grabbing the gin, and Emerson will break it. New point of emphasis in the rules this year. That's correct. You can only grab for three seconds if there's no action or takedown and pull. You have to break. Otsu has fought wars, holding his opponent and punishing the body with his left hand. Left hook underneath the ribs, and again, quick left hook. He's lost no hand speed, Otsu, and now Cunningham powering to the body himself, punching from high up at his six-foot height. And a sweep of the right leg of Cunningham by Otsu. Cunningham holding on to Otsu, but some of the judges think it is a point. He won't point which way. 
One point red. One point red. And red, the sweep counts. Coming up, tried to pull his man down, didn't succeed, and Otsu has a lead with the clock running 16 seconds. One nothing lead for the two-time champion. Punches to the body by Cunningham. He's got to score a point, though. Look at the spirit by this young man staying there with the champion Otsu. Not giving up. A great first Sabaki challenge for the 19-year-old Joey Cunningham, but one to nothing. The score for Otsu on the sweep in overtime great. will hold up. Great fighting, great spirit by both fighters. One point. Winner. Winner, Otsu to the semifinals. A flurry of punches by both fighters. And sweep takedown by Otsu. After two rounds of sabaki competition, the field of fighters has been narrowed down to the final 12, four in each weight division. The semifinal matches consist of two two-minute rounds. Here are some of the competitors reflecting about what lies ahead. All right, and then if you move to the finals, you could be facing Otsu, also from Chicago, and a champion. That would be uh, a great honor to fight two good champions. Actually, all the fighters so far that I fought are very good, but if I fight with Otsu, Andy will occur on the same night, you can't beat that. Hideto Otsu, uh, how are you feeling this year uh, returning to the Sabaki Challenge? Uh, I'm still uh, not best condition this year, but uh, I try as best as I can. Why are you not in the best condition? What's the problem? Because I'm old, getting old, I think. So. I, I'm losing uh, my energy, stamina, and power, but I'm, uh, my spirit is still pretty good, so they, uh, my spirit cover them, I think. If you meet uh, Tony Otero or uh, Iwakura in the finals, how will you fight against them? I have no idea, but I try best I can. Yes. Okay, fighters face front. All right, you're looking face at Kim me. Rose in his first Sabaki challenge on the left. Today to Otsu in his fifth. Experience is so important here. But Otsu told me before this match he can feel the age setting in at 29. All the fights, all the tournaments, all the wars he has fought toe to toe. Front kick strong by Rose. Otsu eyes focused, attacking the front leg. He said he would kick more this year. He is kicking more. Normally he results to that left punch from under, but he's doing exactly what he said he would do, attacking that front leg with low kicking. A man who likes challenges, Otsu. Came to America, opened his own dojo in Chicago. Otsu chasing, as is his style, hook kick from Rose. Otsu attacks the front leg. Otsu left hand up, attacks the front leg again. And now Rose, Pulling his man, trying to lift his legs. Very vulnerable, okay, that high kick, Rose. Yeah, it is. He's coming from outside, but there's not a lot of power in it because his hips aren't employed. And he's being pulled by the gi by Otsu, so he's a little off balance. I think it's a dangerous move for him. Otsu's a very smart fighter, staying close. And there was a nice jump in knee, pulling his man into him by Rose. Very sophisticated technique. And Rose's knees inside against the inside master, Otsu. Surprising. Rose is a game fighter. He came to fight. He is an instructor and a master in his own right. Has his own school in Fort Collins. Says Kim Rose, I believe I've been training for this tournament, the Sabaki Challenge, my entire life. He's been watching it, been here most every year since 1989. Kim Rose. Knee up by Otsu, strong inside, and a nice knee to the ribs by Rose. Pulls Otsu, and they nearly tumble off the uh, entire platform. Great exchange. I've seen some of the best Sabaki fighting I've seen in a long time. This is great. These fighters are, are, are after each other. No points, no penalties. End of round one. Straight ahead action. Otsu is still attacking all these years. Fifth Sabaki challenge. And there it is, the end of the first of two rounds in the semifinals. Here it is again.
You have to try to move outside of your opponent's blind spot. Yeah, they are straight ahead action. Beginning of round two, Hideki Oso, the great champion, lightweight and middleweight, the first man to win in two divisions with the red sash and a left of your ring uh, of your screen there inside the circle. He says this is his last tournament. He'll have to ask his body if he wants to continue, but already he can feel the aging tonight. Nice left hand, right round kick combination. And again, the strong round kick to the front leg, and now it's the old Otsu, attacking with the hands more than the legs, coming straight into the gut of Kim Rose, the newcomer to the Sabaki Challenge. Otsu looks like he did his, uh, his old self, coming in with a flurry of punches. Otsu looks like he has glee in his eyes for the first time. He's a little bit happier. He's gone back to his old style. He is not restrained on that last exchange. And the front kick pushes Rose towards the edge of the circle. Right hand blocked. Otsu stalking. Left hand underneath. Rose with the knee. And that was his best technique inside, attacking Otsu with those knees. That's correct. He's uh, coming in with left and right knee kicks. Having a hard time, Otsu is stopping those knee kicks to his body. No penalty, just a warning there. And Otsu attacking the front leg and grimacing is Kim Rose. And those low kicks take their toll. They're very powerful. Otsu, eyes wide, 52 seconds. Is his career over? Is he doing enough to win the decision? Jump kick caught in the air. Now knees to the head while on the ground. Rose slipping down. And Otsu, I think, realizes this is it. 40 seconds. He's got to do something. He's turned up the speed here in his second round. Hook kick attempt, an axe kick attempt by Rose. No good. There goes Otsu again, attacking that front leg. And then he with the hands to the body. There he goes, and he... Near sweep. Near sweep. He's attacking that front leg. You can see his, uh, the balance of Rose starting to, starting to crumble. 15 seconds, no points, no penalties. Decision coming, barring a score here. Otsu moving inside with both hands. Knees again for Rose. They've been his best technique. Right hand by Rose into the gut. Otsu behind the kidneys with the left hook. Three seconds. Come on, says Dave Fisher. And that's it. End of the middleweight semifinal. Otsu and Rose gave everything. Red, 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 red. Otsu. A chance for a second middleweight title. He will be in the finals. the mat. He was the light first man to win championships in two different divisions, lightweight and middleweight. He is a veteran. He is trying to recapture the middleweight title he lost last year. He is fighting a young opponent and fighting age and the injuries that a warrior accumulates. Hideki Otsu is into the middleweight final. And Anthony Otero, he is the future. Young, fresh blood in the Sabaki Challenge, improving with every fight and now challenging majesty itself. Is it his time? The veteran versus the young fighter, old versus youth. Okay, face front, bow. Face me, bow. Well, to explain to us, this might be his last yeah, fight, and he's uh, coming to his own again as the champion. Yeah. And he's going to take it to the young fighter, I'm sure, just as a champion. Right. But Otero has that reach, and he's been using it most effectively, and it got him here to the finals. Both men fighting out of Chicago. The loser is going to have to live in the same town with the winner. Both men going hard to the body. That is Otsu's trademark. Otsu says he can feel the age already. Last year, a knee slowed him somewhat. His back and his shoulder bother him, although he says it doesn't bother him in his fighting. He has to ask his body if this is the last tournament when it's all over. His words. Both men, good crisp action, standing right in front of each other and wailing. A very busy fight, Michael. Both of them are exchanging blows, but nothing telling as, uh, as of right now. And Otero has gotten better and better with each fight. Otsu, a very tough overtime win in the quarterfinals over a young Joey Cunningham who's promising. And a 4-0 decision over Kim Rose in another close fight. 
and now against Otero, who has found a different technique each fight. Right leg sweep in the first fight. Left round kick to cut the eye of Kenneth Hahn in the quarterfinals. And then at the buzzer, uh, knee kicks, sweep, and a control punch oh. under a knee kick to win 3 nothing over Iwakura, one of the favorites here in the semis. Last year, grabbing the gi and pulling him, Peyton Wolf actually had more leverage on his punches and was able to cover with his own elbow against that attack and now punched Otsu inside to take the title. We'll see if Otero has studied the tapes. Hideto Otsu against the younger man on with his back towards you. Anthony Otero came in last year, guns blazing, wild and fiery, and lost on a penalty point. This year, he says he has calmed and settled down. He is not going to punch high and he has done a great job. And here he is grabbing and looking for the sweep, looking to get behind Otsu that time. He's not using his, his uh, distance effectively, Otero isn't. He's, Otsu's right inside, he's gotta maintain that distance and then he can counterattack more effectively. Ooh, good strong right round kick to the front leg of Otero by Otsu. They were concentrating on hands and Otsu went downstairs. 53 seconds to go in the second round of three. Middleweight Championship 1996 Sabaki Challenge. We're seeing a slugfest right now, Michael. Both fighters exchanging punches. Both of them are, are going to be affected from those punches. War of attrition hoping somebody's off balance. There's a momentary opening a sweep or a knockdown. It's a knockdown tournament. We've said it all night. Who will put the other guy down from a technique, a sweep, or a throw? Power or technique? Not much Sabaki technique in this fight. Just straight in fighting. Two with fighters with similar styles from the same hometown who fight a lot of the same full contact tournaments. They'll have a lot to talk about when they get back to Chicago. <laughs> Absolutely. Different dojos. Otsu has his own in Chicago. And the fighter we've seen from his dojo fights just like he does. A warrior. One of the true warriors, one of the legendary champions. Hideto Otsu will fight into the third round to try to recapture the middleweight title. Very tough exchange here for both fighters. Round three, final round, middleweight final. Otsu seeking a third Sabaki championship has won the lightweights and the middleweights and then lost the middleweights last year. Came back expecting to fight Peyton Wolf in a rematch, and Peyton went to heavyweights. He'd like to hang on and fight another year, but doesn't think he can. He'll give it all he has here. A minute and a half to fight. Otero, a calm customer in front of the great champion. War of attrition continues, and it's Otero who seems to be punching harder and kicking harder at this point. Otero is keeping, uh, keeping his poise, He's staying right in there. He seemed to come out uh, this last round here with a little bit more fire. Somebody's going to make a movement to the side or a jump out or a high kick and surprise somebody here, don't you think? I think so. I think it would do it. Or if they made an agreement. <laughs> last man standing. Last man standing. Tomorrow, neither one of these fighters will be able to walk very well. I'll tell you. The low damage, nice knee up by Otero. Otsu backs up, 54 seconds left in this one, perhaps the last 54 seconds in the Sabaki career of Otero, excuse me, of Otsu. Otero just begun. No doubt he'll be back. 40 seconds. War of attrition straight ahead. There was a time when no one stood in front of Otsu. Lightweights especially, oh, nice sweeping round kick. We talked about it. It just brushed the temple, didn't land solidly. Could have been lights out. It would have been. Wasn't a good clean kick though, Michael. Otero running in now. Each man must impress the judges. Neither man would like to leave it to the judges. If you know them, they'd fight all night. Right hands to the body, left hand to the body by Otero. That right hook has been devastating. 10 seconds to fight. Oh, front kick drives Otsu back. Both men punishing. Knee grabbing the head. And Otero <laughs> smiles and nods and says, I got him that time. Is he trying to sway the judges? Looks like he is. It's going to be a decision. 
White, white, red, white, a new champion, Otero, three to one. Otsu cannot regain the title he lost last year. He has been a legend. He's the first man to win titles in the Sabaki Challenge in two weight classes, but a new legend perhaps being born. He improved with every fight, Anthony Otero. The winner, Anthony Otero from Chicago. A barrage of kicks and uh, Otero with the knee kick to the head of Otsu. I think that uh, gave the judges something to look for. In an age of multi-million dollar contracts, there are still world-class athletes who challenge themselves purely for the love of their sport and the pursuit of excellence. These are the men of the Sabaki Challenge, the martial artists, winners and losers alike, who compete to discover a measure of their own effort and spirit. For a martial artist, there are few challenges greater than the day-to-day -day regimen of training that gives their karate a margin of speed, precision, or power over that of their competitors. The performance on the tournament mat is just the tip of an iceberg. It is the massive effort behind the closed doors of dojos and weight rooms, poured out on heavy bags and sparring partners, that determines a winner. As spectators, we assume that the goal of winning, of standing tallest on the platform and claiming the top prize, is the sole aim of these years of effort. And yet, any martial artist will tell you that it is also enough simply to be on the path, to travel the way of Karate Do. For anyone who is trained in the martial arts, the real goal is the process of self-change that unfolds. The effort that goes into training offers the possibility of recreating yourself in ways that surpass your highest expectation. In the pursuit of excellence, training is its own reward, beyond the money, fame, or adulation. The Sabaki Challenge exists to encourage this spirit of transcendence to discover how far your own effort and self-challenge can carry you. <laughs> 